Guitar picks. Do you use a guitar pick? What brand? What gauge? What material do you use? The reason for this video is because your playing starts with the pick and there is a world of difference between every pick out there from both improving or screwing up your playing to what it makes your tone sound like. Because some sound dull, uh, some sound extremely bright, and what you're about to see is a demonstration of all of these variations with several different picks. Here we go. So here are just a few different kinds of picks that I have um, that I've tried. I've tried a lot more, but these are just the ones I have right now. As you can see, I have a lot of Ultex and Ultem picks. Um, the reason being, I decided that out of everything I've tried, I like the sound and the feel and the durability of Ultex. Um, it takes forever to wear out, and it just sounds great. So um, first up, we have this little Jazz 3 style Ultem by Clayton. Don't like it. Um, it just sounds dull compared to all the rest. So scratch that out. Uh, the Ultex Jazz 3 is awesome. But again, it's not for me, but I can definitely see why people would play with it. Um, we got a Clayton Flex, which I'm not too fond of either. Um, again, it's still the old 10 material, but uh, it just gets a lot of it gives a lot of pick noise. You'll see that later in the video. And then uh, I have the 73, the 90 Ultex Dunlop, and then the Clayton Ultem 80 millimeter. The story with this is. I use the 73 for the acoustic and the 8 string and it works great for those but then if I switch to a 7 or a 6 string then it just throws me off. I, but I don't know why. I just, I'm not accurate with it when I'm on a 6 or a 7. And then that's when I switch to the 90 and the 90 sounds great for everything but it hurts my arm and my hand when I play on the 8 string with it. So I wanted something a little in between so I went to the Ultim 80mm by Clayton and that's pretty much great for every guitar that I have including the 8 string because it has just enough flex to where it won't hurt my hand but I still got all the control. Then uh, here's something for beginners. This is actually a training pick here by Planet Waves. Um, so if you're a beginner or maybe you got a kid that's learning, have them get some of these because it'll teach you correct posture. It's got this little groove here that guides where your thumb's supposed to go. Then you got uh, the popular Jazz 3 picks. They sound great. Um, again, not for me because I like that bite that the Ultex gives. And uh, that's pretty much why I chose the Ultex for the most part. I also used uh, the Gator Grips back when I was in a band. And, uh, well, they sound a little woofy to me, at least the green one does. Um, but I played bass, so uh, it was pretty good for that. And you got your Tortex picks, and they sound good, but the uh, problem is they just wear out too damn fast. And you know, you got your nylon picks, which I really do not like at all. And your generic uh, tortoise shell picks. So yeah, that's uh, just a few of the picks I have. Let's get to the sound demos. Alright, so I won't compare all of them, but the ones that are radically different, I'm about to show you the difference on this acoustic here, and then the electric. Uh, let's start off with the Ultex by Dunlop uh, 73. Now you're going to notice it's very bright, has a tight pick attack on both single note stuff and chords, very jangly sounding. your Ultex 73. Um, it's not, it's bright, but it's not so bright that it's obnoxious, if you know what I mean. Um, now next up is a 90. I favored the 90 a little bit more just because I have a bit more control. <laughs> sound very big. And then uh, let's go to something that's radically different. How about a uh, 1.5 millimeter Gator Grip made out of the Tortex material. A lot of people like to gravitate towards these. I used to play bass a lot with them, but it's for electric guitar, it's a little too woofy for me, but here you go. Here's some single notes. Very rolled off dynamic. So 
some people like that mellow stuff, especially for jazz. Yeah. And then uh, I'm not a jazz player, obviously, as you just saw, but you, you get what I mean, though. I'm sure. And then one of them here. This is going to be radically different from all of them. Again, it's uh, old text material because I like the sound of old text. Um, but this one is so stiff, and I don't know, just the way it's made, it gives you a lot of extra pig noise. And uh, yeah, here's this one. And to be honest, it's so stiff that I actually lose some of my control with it. Hear that? So like. reason I don't think this sounds that good either um, compared to the other old text picks there's just something about it that's off for me at least and that's the Clayton I believe it's called the Clayton flex that's a uh, 80 millimeter all right so I'm going to show you the difference between the pick attack especially when you're playing metal this is very important to me at least um, so I'm playing through a PV Viper 75 I hope this comes through the camera but uh, let's start off with the green gator grip 1.5 millimeter I want to try to play similar riffs just so you can see the difference. Especially the Clayton 80 millimeter old Tim. by Dunlop. Sounds equally as good. Sometimes I feel like I have just a little bit more control with this one than the Clayton for some reason. again. This is a 90. And that's really it. I hope you can hear the difference there. And the moral of the story is try everything because everything from your amp to the strings you use right down to your 50 cent pick makes a world of difference. Um, your pick, your playing starts from your picking hand. So you might as well get the best sound you can. And uh, for me, it's a uh, tie between the 80 millimeter and the 90 millimeter Clayton versus Dunlop. So yeah, pretty much depends on what side of the bed I wake up on. And that's pretty much it for now. So uh, happy shredding.